Why do I keep making the same mistake by not taking off my glasses before a video? You'd learn, Mommy, you'd learn! <laughs> Welcome back to my channel and in today's video I haven't done one since last year actually when I first started out I did a February favourite so I think it was my second video uh, of my channel and I thought this year I thought I would do getting back into it might as well might as well fringe things so I'll be showing you some favourites or some March favourites as it's going to be called in this video. Robert, you really need to learn how to script these videos out. So I'll be showing you some favourites that I have been loving this month. And just PS, we don't know what's happening because pubs can open on June 21st in England and we we don't know. I'll insert something at the end maybe, I don't know. So you can just get a clear view of what, what's happening up here. So let's get on with the video. So, of by the way, it's raining, by the way. So if you hear something, it's raining uh, and windy. So one of the things I've been loving, I probably bought this about a couple of weeks ago, but I'm just loving them right now. And a couple, a few years ago, I got um, a, a Dustro, Dustro, I don't know what you call it, coffee machine. And I'm like, well, maybe I should start using it again. So I got some Starbucks pods from Amazon and I'm like, because I really can't get to Starbucks. I can get it delivered, but I'm like, mm, I can just save some money if I can just get another pod for myself by using the actual coffee machine. I had, a, I had a latte this morning and it was lovely. So I thought that, honestly, it plus, when I'm making other coffee, it just literally takes, it just, it's quicker. You know, waiting for the kettle to boil, you're like, and I'm like, no, I might as well just use the pods and obviously they're so nice. It feels like I'm back in Starbucks with my laptop and pretending to do college work. Beautiful. Also with those kind of pods, you can actually get a reusable pod so you can even put instant coffee in there just in case you need to, need to be quicker when you get out in the mornings or well, if, if you don't, if you don't need to leave them quickly in the mornings. Um, so you just put your coffee in there and then off you go. Another thing that I've been loving, I don't know if I've mentioned this in one of my other videos, but I have been, you've probably seen it in my last video. I am loving green tea at the moment, especially lemon and green, lemon and lemon green tea. Oh, I like green tea right now. I'm having it right now. Off up. Maybe not. And also decaf tea, so if I have one quite later on in the evening, I'll have that. It just really helps, it makes your skin look a lot healthier, and the most important thing, it burns fat. I got asked the question, so you've lost so much weight, and what how? I'm like, green tea is probably one of the most, and drink lots of water. So I've been loving, loving that recently as well. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Now, moving away from beverages and getting into some makeup and hair products. One of the things that I've been loving, because as you can see, soap brows are definitely in. I fill them in with a pencil. If you wonder, I fill them in with a pencil first, so I can just get some life into them. The Soap Styler by Revolution, because like I said, it is in at the moment. And honestly, it is one of the best. Obviously, I've tried regular soap if you don't have it, but that just didn't work for me. So I just bought a Soap Styler. And it was really, really good. I bought that last month and I've just been literally loving it really recently. I've just, I use a disposable mascara wand with mine because I just find that the spoolie bit there, it just is easier to use. So that's what I would highly recommend. Of course, I bought some new eyeshadow palettes as well because me being me. Obviously, Nude by Beauty Bay. Under, I have all the products that I've used in this video in, in, in the description below so you can figure it out as well. It's a simple nude palette, with simple kind of eyeshadow look. I've used it on my eyes today, so I've also filmed it on the same day. And also a simple, nice glam palette from Revolution as well. It's just like I said, it's just simple, nice, kind of light kind of colors. Mm, the pigment you probably see is not up there, but if you build it up, it gets a really nice gl gl glam look. And the 
the sparkles is just honestly amazing my recent my recent foundation that i have been using oh, i didn't use it today because it ran out and i bought the wrong one but the other one is doing just fine is the conceal and hydrate by revolution as well that it's such good foundation it's can medium to full coverage so if you need if you want a light coverage it's fine you just, and you just build it up if you want full like i said i bought the wrong one but like i said revolution never do wrong with their foundations and really really good price as well and another thing that i've been loving is the u revolution 5d mascara honestly it is brilliant on it it lifts the lashes so I, I have tend to quite, I have a weird combination right here. I have longer lashes on this side than this side. That, that's weird, right? I would class that as weird, but honestly, it just makes the lashes look so long. I've used other ones before and this one is honestly brilliant. Lastly, it is Beauty V lip glosses. I have been loving them recently. I've got two different ones. I've got a one that's quite a lighter colour, which I'm wearing like on top right now. And also um, quite a darker kind of brown colour for when I want to be dark and mysterious. Me dark and mysterious? Are you having a laugh? And I just weirdly apply it to like here, here and here just to give it a bit more of a just kind of different dynamic to the, my overall look. Uh, <laughs> just love, I just, I'm just loving that at the moment. And does anyone remember when you used to be younger and you used to get those magazines, you used to get those lip kind of wee sparkly kind of lip glosses and then you get your you know, stuff in your hair. My hair products have not, there's not really much to say on that but I've been using the Argan Oil kind of range from Superdrug. There's one for hair treatment and there's just one for like any other use. It's only like, it's um, so you apply that and you get like a nice kind of smooth frizz free hair because yeah, we all can't get to the hairdressers can't we so we're we're just using what we can and whenever like i use the other ones throughout right? the day if i see a fur i just get like this just go like this oh hello darling oh hello and the other ones also use for protecting my hair when i'm using styler straighteners curler my hair has it's not greasy and it's got honestly when i've well obviously because you can't tell because i'm wearing it up but when I've worn it down, you can definitely tell and it's so nice and silky smooth. I'm gonna show you a video of the serum that I've been currently using. So the lactic acid is the one that has been, I've had, I've suffered with acne scars for, since I started getting at, um, spots and acne. And this has really helped tone down the redness and the, uh, when I've, when a couple of weeks after I started using it, it tells it's, it soothes down the redness has gone down as well and it makes my pores look less visible and also the scars as well and also the most popular one is the one i'm showing you i'm not even going to try and pronounce that but <laughs> it's the, it's, that's the one that really targets the acne as well as the other serum I'm just about to use of the i think it's the clarifying serum i could be messing that up that moisturizing says and tackles breakouts it's definitely good if you have acne prone skin like i do this just really just gets the moisture back into your skin after using very other drying products to get rid of your lovely acne. Like, because I'm using a rin like right now, you can't really tell, but look, like, I, I do suffer from it. Like, we all do. We all do. There we go. And I, hi I highlighted this one earlier on in my other videos is the Lather and Smudge Face Oil. Um, they're a small business. I'll have, I'll have it linked down below, not sponsored. Um, they're just um, so cute, and it smells like orange. It's orange blossom. I had to get. I had to get the orange one, didn't I? So I just had to um, try that out, and I apply this moisturizer at night. And when I wake up, if I either have my drying lotion on my face, it still gives me a nice glow because the drying lotion I use for my spots. But I have a nice, lovely. Now moving on to the products that I currently have with me because I didn't film them um, or for your everyday use. So I'm just gonna show you them now, the things I've been currently using. Like I said, when I, when I said to you guys that you I recommend for a glow up is maybe use a face mask two, two times a week. And here we go. And then skin Fixture Clay Mask, it targets literally for any kind of thing. What was it, refining, mattifying skin, normal, all 
Ollie, I have combination skin types. I have combination because I get a dr I've got dryness here and then acne here and oiliness a bit here. So this is probably a really good for for combination skin and normal skin. It's just a typical clay mask, and obviously you don't really need that much. Kind of looks like patchy tan when you put it on your face. But like I said, I think I've been using this for the past couple of months. There's been there's been weeks where I've used it twice. There's been times where I've worn it once, and it's and it, honestly, it's even even when I've used it once, it's brilliant. So maybe I should start using it two times a week. So like I said, there's like products that are in the favourable category, but I'm going to recommend them to you. Which it's a hydrating eye patches. So you open it up and you get like a wee spatula here and you just open this up and you get these kind of gold patches. So the hydrating eye patches, so you leave them for like 10-15 minutes and then you take them off and you just pat it. It just gets rid of the um, puffiness within your eyes. The recommended time is once a week. Once a week you do this. I do this every Saturday night and I wake up and I can just see the less puffiness of my eyes and plus for your glow up and, so, and also in my other video that I showed I when the first lockdown kind of had a bit of a skin problem I'm sure I spoke this to you in one of my other videos as well had a bit of a skin problem over my legs and my arms and I think people if you notice my TikToks I had like a bit of like redness around here there was like really bad redness in my legs it was really a really tough time for me and i bought and i bought this and um, probably about i would say about probably october just before october time probably august september time probably september time and when i bought this and it has honestly done wonders i think this is like my 10th bottle or something have it in the bath or you can just lather it after you get in the bath or shower and I've, I've done both so i put a couple of drops of it in the bath and then i wake and then i get it out and then i just rub it all over and it's and it really has helped my skin so much because I can get flared ups as well and it really has helped and being me being a girl I love my tan I love my tan a skin problem obviously to research and the best for for kind of eczema skin which was what I suffered with where's my ass is that is my, it started after a couple of weeks after I had covid symptoms <laughs> The best thing for um, kind of eczema kind of skin is gradual tan and I just got this last week uh, is gradual tan this is the skinny tan body glow gradual tan lotion light also I've got the milky I don't know if you feel that um, this is the medium milk spray. I've got like kind of skin like I do I would probably recommend gradual tan and skinny tan has honestly been brilliant I don't know if you can see and this one that I use probably probably every couple days. I use this one at night and then I use this one. This gives like a really nice kind of glow, like really nice sparkle of the skin. And it's a really good Um, So that is what I've been using lately. And look, <laughs> the bump up. <laughs> I've got I'm all sand and nowhere to go. Um, so like I said, suffer with what I do. This has been my favourite because this is actually Sue's in particular because with eczema prone skin it's keeping it very very dry in. so so this will and this has helped reduce flare ups and intense skin dryness suitable for sensitive skin even people who have made pre prone to, to eczema and that's definitely me this has been definitely so every time I see a flare up I put this on so just before I wake when I wake up in the morning this is one of the first not one of the first things but what is definitely part of my morning routine and so like I really target the areas that I can get really itchy in it's like especially the elbows and the knees and um, that's where you always tend to dry and flare up most so this is the one that I've definitely been this is the moisturizer I've been using yes it's fine to put over gradual tan I was petrified before but yes it has worked now we could get all bored we could get bored during lockdown so we're also during lockdown like I just said to you I got the update that we're, we might be uh, easing lockdown in April um, which means we're probably extending lockdown towards March. Um, that was just fantastic. Um, so like I said, we could all get bored during um, lockdown and I bought, this, I bought this ages ago and I've been using it recently. It's from the works, um, the Affirmations Word Search book and it has word searches, but it has like really, like you can get ones here, which isn't like other words. 
mixtures and you can get ones with quotes saying I love life and I'm grateful for the abundance that surrounds me. You're doing these word searches and you're finding like positive affirmations which is just brilliant at the moment and it really has uh, kept me sane. I'm not gonna lie, it really has kept me sane. So I'll probably recommend something like this. Word searches, Sudoku, no matter what, I'm getting old with these things. Puzzles, it's really up to you. I would probably recommend something like this during lockdown and honestly it has kept me sane. So thank you, Robin, for all your fantastic favourites. So I hope you enjoyed um, that video. There's a lot of information to take in there, but like I said, I haven't done one of these um, since my second video of this channel so I thought I would do another version March and the weird one is with that February one that was just before the first lockdown now we're like in the second or third and these are all the products that I've currently been loving ones I've, I've used for about a couple of weeks and there's other products that I've been using for months and I just wanted to include it in these videos I'm trying to make it a regular favourites video so I hope you enjoyed it and like, comment and subscribe and if you made it to the end of this video comment what have you, what's been one of your favourites no matter what it is what have you been loving or like it could be like any product could be an app speaking of apps I've been using the Tide app it is brilliant I would recommend it for sleep sounds awesome I know I know so tell me what you've been loving recently like any 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 of your favorites could be your what favorite food are you loving like what favorite drink anything I I just want I want to know because I want to be creepy so not that much I hope you enjoyed the video and I'll see you in another video bye <laughs> my god I actually can't remember what I've been loving that thing's not gonna get to my window. You <laughs> got. I'm gonna fail that one. I've just had a notification there. Oh my god! I'm just gonna. <laughs> uh, la di di la di di la di do live it up. Can we go to the past? Can we go to the past? It's coming home. It's coming home. It's coming. 55's coming home.